Shalom. First off, we're going to start off with saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rekakadash. It's all praises to the world called God, the true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful life, preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Taz Bond of Great Millstone, Arizona Camp, Lord, with, with another video to edify. And, um, ultimately have free speech right have an opinion that's just getting attacked to where now Esau's deliberately deliberately taking off these figureheads and his media right as the scriptures say he's the prince of the power of the air he's taking out these figureheads out of these positions to actually give an opinion because what now within that uh Art, artistic uh, freedom that they had within those platforms, their voice and their actual concerns, right? Their voice and their actual concerns, their voice and their opinions, and he's getting ready to scrutinize even further those that have a, a, a an opinion outside of what he thinks is okay, right? Now, you, you even got Esau now saying uh, uh, people that believe in the Bible are now a, 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 the, one of the greatest threat to America. Right? So he's starting it off with this whole conservative shit. Yeah. And all this is done with a purpose in our mind to come at the prophets. This is all it was ever about, man. I was listening uh let me see if I can find it, man. Haman, right? Get it, I think it's in the, uh, Esther. It's in the book of Esther today. Listening to it. And this is Esau's mindset. Oh, yeah, here it is. Let me find. All right, here it is, right here. All right, to prove you. These devils only care about destroying the Lord's people. It doesn't matter what, what they do on their side that looks like their people are losing out. The whole goal in the end is to see Jake fail. Jake for all the word, the sacrifice to be cut off as they always have done. All right, so this is um, Esther 5 and, and, and 11. It says, and Haman told, told them of the glory of his riches and the multitude of his children, right? And all, all the things wherein the king had promoted him, how he had advanced him above the princes of the princes and servants of the king. All right, so he got up to this grandiose position Right? He thought he was hot shit. He has, his kids were multiplied. The scriptures tell you if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. And the scriptures speak true on that. Right? It says, verse 12, Haman said, Moreover, yeah, Esther the queen did, uh, did let no man come in with the king unto the banquet that she had prepared by him, by, by, but my, that she had prepared but myself. And tomorrow am I invited in uh, unto her also with the king. It says, yet all this availed me nothing. Because when you look at that, here it is, you're being brought to honor with the king. You're being given all these riches in this, this position, right? You have many kids. So it's showing that your progeny is growing, your house is growing, right? Which, which includes your substance growing thereby. You're, you're, you're eating uh, a feast with the king and, and, and his wife, the queen, right? And what did he say? It says, it says, um, verse uh, 13, it says, um, yet all this availed me nothing. He didn't care about all that. So long as Mordecai, the Jews, the Jews sitting at the king's gate, 
So as long as he saw Mordecai, an Israelite, within the king's gate, basically within the king's quarters, right? Which it, which you can extrapolate this to the time frame we're in now, right? Jake is in America right now. We're in the gates of the nobles right now, giving out this word, going out to the highways and byways and constantly talking about the scriptures. They weren't doing that. When they weren't actually bringing out the scriptures when when it was just Christianity. That be, that came when when we got our identity back, as being the Israelites, as being the children of the Most High. Right, and now they're sitting there looking at their plans like none of this shit matters. <laughs> as long as these niggas are still around, that's how they look at it. Just like Haman. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they're gonna get the same treatment right here. Right? And the Lord's going to set us up in honor. Right? But I'm not going to get that scripture. I'm going to just keep moving on. But ultimately, you see all these conservatives, news hosts, getting taken out of their positions. All of a sudden getting fired. You got Don Lemon, Tucker Carlson. And Don Lemon covered a lot of the financial portion. And he was a a major conservative in the financial portion. And um, basically he got hit by a defamation, uh, a defamation lawsuit because he was challenging the ballots and all that. And uh, they just clipped him right away, which that that's them, them scrutinizing how, re how relative this stuff was going on that everybody else was calling conspiracy. But now they're sitting there saying this shit kind of got, got some ground, which that's Esau coming against Esau because now they're divided. Nobody can agree on anything. Nobody can say these things are relevant, right? This is a kingdom divided against a kingdom. Remember, when you go back into the scriptures, it tells you that they committed their government unto one man every year. In the book of, uh, let me get this. is um I think it's first Mac yeah here's it it's first Maccabees right this is this is the natural state of how Esau ruled his kingdom for for a long time, even even since the, the Romans, right, up until this date. But now their thing is falling apart because now they're bringing into question uh, whether or not the voting system was 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 rigged. Who put the fix in? Yeah, Esau losing out, so now he's got a problem with how things are going. Right, this is the natural procession of things, and Esau's folding apart now. This is uh, 1 Maccabees 8 and 16. It says, and they committed their government uh, to one man every year, right? This is what was going on in the Roman Empire. So back then, you used to have a one-year reign, right? Now they do four years, right? It says, who ruled over their all their country, that they were obedient to, to that one, and that there was neither envy nor emulation among them. And now there's envy and emulation. Right? Let's get that word emulation. Where is that? Got the etym on here. There we go. So emulation, it means effort to equal or excel in quantities or action that one admires in another's, in another or others. Imitative rivalry, right? So that nobody tried to rise up over somebody else. Well, 
that's exactly what's happening constantly right now in Babylon. So that that, that whole structure of Esau being with each other and everything, that shit's crumbling. But the whole thing that it spells, <clears throat> as far as this news goes for all these conservatives, is that they're getting ready to cut off that free speech and, and the feminine of the word, right? It's about to come right off the back of it. So is at Amos 8. Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, um, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, which those things are actually coming in, in the physicality. It says, but of hearing the word, words of Yahweh, right? The Lord's going to cut off this, this message at some point, right? This isn't a message that was supposed to be preached until the missiles come. It was supposed to be preached until the Lord brought that hell, man. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even unto the east. That And it says, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it because pretty soon, Right, the Lord is gonna cut off this message. We're not gonna be out there preaching, and at that point, if you got it, you're good. If you don't, right, <laughs> you better hope the Lord has some some type of uh, mercy, somehow putting you around a man to <laughs> to get what you need to survive and do those righteous works in these times, because that's it. Right, when the word goes out, people were supposed to take it serious, but a lot of people just looked at it like. It was a damn su suggestion. People look at the word of the Lord like it's a suggestion. I the scriptures tell you it, these are the commandments. You are commanded to do these things. You're commanded to be cognizant of what the Lord likes and what he doesn't like. All right? But in this time, you know, people, people want to pull away their, sh their, sh their shoulders and their arms. And they're going to be left out there. This is Isaiah 59 and in verse. Uh, it says, um, I started uh, 13. It says, in transgressing and lying against Yahweh and in, depart in departing away from our power, seeking oppression and revolt, convincing uh, or conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth far off. And that's what's been happening. People have literally departed from the way of the Lord, right? They trust in oppression and revolt, right? Them niggas are chanting that stupid ass Black Lives Matter when the scriptures tell you. When, when these devils sit here and say Black Lives Matter, Black Lives don't matter, man. Israelite lives matter. Right? The lex life matter. Everybody else does not matter. If you're not a elect, if you're not doing what the word what the word of the Lord says, you do not matter. But they sat there and trusted in the revolt of that shit so much that when that stuff was going on, these niggas were sitting there running through these stores doing smashing grabs. And every week it was a new nigga and they, how did they mourn? Doing more smashing grabs. Well, these niggas trusted in oppression and revolt. They departed away from the word of the Lord. They conceived and uttered from their heart words of falsehood. What? Because off the backs of that Black Lives Matter stuff, what did people prop up? Right? What came right off the back of that? Trans rights. That's all wickedness, man. So now you got a bunch of Decepticons and, 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 and Transformers, these robots in disguise. Walking around you, sitting there saying they're men or women, right? And you got to respect it according to this damn devil's laws. It says uh, verse 14 in, in judgment is turned away backward. Uh, no, verse 15, so like yeah. Yeah, in judgment is turned away backward, and justice stands far off, for truth is fallen in the street, and in, it says, and equity cannot enter. Yeah, truth felleth. And that's what's happened. Through all these actions, the truth has failed. People can't even sit here and tell you what a man and woman is anymore. Right? 
You got people that, that sit here and look at the law of the Lord and they call themselves Israelites like it's Esau's damn law with, with loopholes and by codes. No, this, the law of the Lord is very, very straightforward. There's no confusion of it. Right? But but through these people's actions and through what they want, what the truth fails in the street, man. It says, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And that's what happens, man. When you want to walk in the right right fashion, now you're a prey. Now you're 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 you're, you're, you're set up to be canceled. You're set up to be uh, ostracized, condemned, ridiculed, right? So now they're sitting there attacking this whole free speech and so conservative movement because the conservative movement is all about the, the 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 nuclear family, right? The man and the woman. So now they're they're attacking those voices on the airways and pulling them down. So what do you think is next? What do you think is not too far away? The famine of the word. It says, it says. And Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. See, the Lord's looking at all this and, and, and viewing the situation and seeing how people don't even care about what he's saying. And then when somebody does care about what the Lord actually commanded, the, the new course of action is just to basically <laughs> silence their voices for the ones that actually care. Right, the Lord's looking at this. He's like, you know what? Enough is enough, and he's about to start addressing people. But before he starts addressing people, he's going to finish up his last, last few words, and then people are going to start getting ass with him. Come on, high. Ezekiel three and twenty six. It says, "And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house." See, the Lord is going to cause us. To stop putting out the warning, right? The, the people look at the fact that you tell them, hey, you're not supposed to do that. Like it's an act of hatred and violence. Let you tell your woman something that's against what she wants to do. She's going to come against you. Let you tell let you tell these people in the world, um, according to the scriptures, you're not supposed to be laying down. A man and a man isn't supposed to be. They'll attack you for it. Right? Tell them that, that it's not okay for them to eat pork. They'll fight you, have whole long arguments, treat you like you're the weirdo. Right? This, 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 hey, people hate them that reprove and negate on anything. So at a certain time when the Lord said, all right, enough is enough. I let you speak long enough. And they didn't take the, 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 the rebuke. Oh, okay, well, that's it. Now they got to talk to me. And it's a lot better to deal with a man that holds the word of the Lord than deal with the Lord. Second is five and nine. It says, and salt water shall be found in sweet in the sweet and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself. So when when all hell's breaking loose, right? Water scarce. People breaking into each other's houses. All hell breaking loose. Right. Friends fighting against each other. It says, then shall wit hide itself. And what is the ultimate wit? It's understanding. It says, an understanding withdraw itself into a secret chamber. So when all that hell is breaking loose, then the Lord is going to make sure that we ain't out there reproving you because, hey, that's, that's it. Now it's go time. Now it's time for full on judgment. It says, and shall be sought of many. You see, when the word of the Lord gets taken off the streets and we're not making these videos every damn day to, to give the elect what they need, to survive and, and show those that haven't repented yet how to repent and what to do and how to conduct themselves in these last days. When that's over, right, then people are going to see the benefit of the prophets. Then they're going to be like, you know what, they spoke of these things. Man, they're going to start seeing everything that the prophets spoke about. Ezekiel 33 and, uh, 33 and 33, I think it is, man. Then shall they know the prophets been among them. They're going to see everything that we talked about start coming to pass. Your, your money fell in, the, the hyperinflation hitting to the point where a loaf of bread will cost $200. That happened in Venezuela. Those things that happened within their markets when their money cra crashed, what do you think is going to happen with the U.S. market? And you got all these countries trying to pull away from the U.S. dollar. 
All those things are going to happen here too. It's just taking a little longer, but it's a hey, it's almost it's almost time. It says one land sh one land shall act shall ask another and say, "Is righteousness that make it the word make it the man righteous going through thee?" And it shall say no. Because what the word of the Lord is going to be precious. So we're in that time, right? We're in that time where these things, the Lord is going to seal up the testimony, right? Let me get that. Yeah, it says, um, this is, uh, you know what, I'll start 15, it says, and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken, bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples, All right, so the Lord's going to bind up this testimony, he's going to seal this truth. Among those that actually serve the Lord. And that's it. That is it. He's going to, hey, you got this portion. Here it is. Hold on to that. I'm coming. That's it. And for everybody else that don't have that portion in their hand, they out there and they ain't got nothing to pay for that ferry to catch that flight. And that flight is on the chariots, man. You got to have riches in heaven to get on them chariots, man. To get caught up out of here, to get delivered from trouble. And a lot of our people don't have anything that they sold to righteousness. Right? None. Right? But this is what's happening, man. This is what's happening. This thing is about to be sealed up. Lord willing, satisfying. Shalom.